Here's a situation where the incoming player is snookered on the red, the ball on, behind the green ball. He looks hit, trying to hit one rail, but he sees he doesn't have a very good angle and he would have to use quite a bit of uh, English on the cue ball to hit the red. The cue ball being on the cushion, this could be very difficult. So his first idea here is to try to mass say around the green, hitting the red. In attempting to do so, he hits part of the green. Now, in this instance, he's hit the green, but the cue ball has gone far enough with enough weight that it would have hit the red if it did not hit the green. This will not be considered a miss. But, conversely, if he had a hit a piece of the green and not gotten the cue ball with enough pace to get to the red, that would be an automatic miss. In this instance, his player, of course, has the three options of shooting the shot himself, making his opponent shoot the shot, or having him replaced. His opponent decides, because he's in a tough situation, to replace him. The referee replaces the balls. Now the player decides he's going to try the original option of coming off the cushion with siding and try with English and trying to hit the red. In doing so, he once again fouls. In this situation, because he's hit the yellow, he's hit the yellow firm enough that if the yellow was not there, he would have had the cue ball hit the red. Once again, because he's hit it with sufficient pace and made an attempt to hit the ball, this would not be considered a miss. If he had hit the yellow, but not hit the yellow firm enough, or had the cue ball go firm enough to get to the direction, the distance that the red is, this would be considered a miss because he didn't hit it sufficiently hard enough to have it get to or past the ball on.